All right, cool. Let's go to favorite play at forward. Young Kenneth, take us away. Yeah, look, th th this is a slate where I really just like firing up a lot of young players. And Franz Wagner at, at three thousand dollars. I mean, this is. I think this is going to be a slate to find, and at least a, a first, you know, a couple weeks to find by what rookies can you find that are going to get big minutes, that are going to score, right? Find the spacing in the NBA a little more friendlier than the spacing in college. And I think that Franz Wagner is a guy, you know, in Orlando who certainly could do that. They have a lot of talent on that roster. Uh, he, he can shoot the basketball. And I think this matchup here, you know, with, with the Spurs, uh, a team that was sort of middling in the defensive rankings last year, is a decent one. Um, and again, it, it all comes down to the minutes here for Franz Wagner. And, you know, he could easily see 26, projection for 26 minutes. Um, I think it's a pretty good spot to play a minimum salary guy. And again, that, that's just sort of going to be a theme tonight. You know, who can you find at $4,000 or cheaper that's going to play 25 to 30 minutes? And then, you know, that helps you complement with a few of the big stars that might get more usage like a Joel Embiid. All right, Maddie, who's your guy forward? So um, to Kenny's point, there are actually, there are a lot of cheap players tonight that are in pretty appealing positions. Scotty Barnes, Evan Mobley, like there's a lot, and a lot of them are rookies too that don't cost that much. Um, I'll kind of play both sides of this because I mentioned Jaron Jackson at center. And if you want to take the other stand and you say like Jackson is too popular and maybe you want some leverage with someone else on his team, Brandon Clark is someone else I like. So you don't want to play these guys in the same lineup. They're going to kind of take away minutes from each other. But Clark is really cheap too. And I don't think that he's going to get much attention because I think on the opening night tonight, or at least the first main slate, you're going to see a lot of people gravitate towards this year's draft class because there's just so many intriguing names there. And the players from the last couple of draft classes are good too. Like Clark is a really good player. And for the same reasons that Jaron Jackson is a good play, I think Clark is also a good play. So as a discounted option, he probably winds up being pretty contrarian tonight.